guys and welcome to the very first tiny tutorial ah i wanted to do that so so long um yeah before i start doing this i just want to explain it a little bit so you know what i'm doing here so um with these tiny tutorials i have a mind that we all have never time to watch any tutorials for hours and hours right for example, when we are watching a tutorial for one hour, um, we only get like maybe 10 minutes, some tips and tricks out of it. But all the rest of the tutorial is just like a little bit of waste of time. And I thought that with these tiny um, tutorials, I can speed up the learning process a little bit, like having uh, some tips um, just in a very very short amount of time um, so you can learn a little bit every time you're watching these um, instead of watching a whole I don't know one or two hour tutorial and uh, yeah I think this will improve your skills and will speed up the learning process as well so um, long story short uh, I just want to dive into the video so today's topic is about how to do client feedback images very very fast and what i mean by that is when you have a client and uh, they want to see your model you definitely don't want to send them the whole file right don't do this ever um, but to make some feedback sessions so they can see the model from all angles, this is very important for 3D models in general, then you can just send some screenshots to them. And I have a very, very fast rank to do that and my clients love that. So I will just show you how I'm doing this. So I will just take my llama model here. It's so cute. Um, and then you can just move around the model wherever you want to and then you have to click the shift and s button and when you're doing this you're doing a screenshot on the screen and it will stay there without deleting so now you can just take the model and rotate it a little bit and then do the same shift and s and again shift and s and again shift and s and then maybe here shift and s and then from this angle you know whatever you want to show them um, you can just uh, rotate the model and then just click the shift and s button and everything is good so now you have like a few angles here and then you can go to document and export the model give it a wonderful name like we artists always do and save it and push enter and now we have the image so we can switch to our other program um, and I will just choose Photoshop for that but you can just have any other program you want to and then I will just drag and drop this out and yeah then I will just crop it a little bit because it's just too large and if you want to you can just make another layer and then I don't know you can you can paint over it if you want to show the client something you I don't know want to tell them like what about bigger ears or um, whatever you want to and if you have a really bad handwriting <laughs> just take um, the font this is definitely better so yeah that's actually it and then just save the image and send it to your client um, just one little thing before I forgot it if you have all the um, screenshots on your screen then it can be a little bit um, disappointing when you don't get rid of these but it is very easy to get rid of these so just push on the keyboard 
the control and N button. And everything is gone again. So control and N and everything is back to normal. So I hope this helps. Um, I know that client really, really love these kind of techniques when it comes to showing the model. Um, so try it out and use it for your own clients uh, before you even send any file over. Uh, yeah, I hope that helps and just try it out and let me know how it works for you.